Thank Matharu, another survivor. Are there any more? Oh. I suppose that's a little bit of kindness from fate. May those still trapped inside rest peacefully. <clears throat> this was supposed to be a nice isolated grove. So much for that. Fomoris Hughes was one of the greatest oh. minds of our generation. The Well of Souls was a dream that was almost too good to come through. Stay safe. We'll be moving soon. Oh. I told I saw you fighting there. We could have used more of you. Did they really have a troll? Oh. I don't know how the Twather found us, but if they had a troll, it couldn't have been an accident. Fate was kind to collapse that doorway behind you, or they would have chased us into the glade. Fate weavers? Ah, charlatans! You swears by them, but I'll be damned if I trust my future to some cards. Good luck out there.
You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agarth. Maybe you can help an old fate weaver, eh? Fate weavers look at the great tapestry of fate. The threads will tell us how a life will unfold. But knowing the future and being able to change it are two very different things. Did he? Poor old Fomerus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work, but Hughes' success would come on the day of his death. He took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. I wish I could, but times are tough. I've barely got enough to pay my bar tabs as it is. You! You're the one. Then that means it all makes sense now. The cards this morning. I drew the Grave Digger, the Running Man, and the Beast. Prepare yourself. They're coming. you? The threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? Hughes may have brought you back to life, but that was still part of fate's plan. Nothing short of a god can do what you did. Come here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threads, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. It's a gift. Some people paint landscapes, other people write poetry. I peered into the weave of fate's tapestry and see people's deaths. That would be my guess. He was an academic, but he had a proper respect for fate's plan. Unlike most gnomes, 
That's fine, but you don't have to. I'll be seeing your thread in the weave of fate. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that much... I am. But still, I've never seen someone whose fate was just missing. This doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. If this is true, and I'm not saying I believe it, then your path is yours to determine. I can see the threads around you, but they're shifting, changing. Normally the threads would guide my hand to the cards, and I'd use those cards to see your pattern in the weave. So either there's something wrong with me, and there isn't, or there's something very wrong with you. Damn it, it's the truth. At least, I think it is. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that. Or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings. But we should consult with Arden. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. That's just it. I don't know if you've got one. He lives in a little hut to the east in Yolven. I'll meet you there. What could this all mean? none more grand than Olain's many feats of might, the pure and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden nut. She is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring, of day. Tracings. Oh. I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's uh. savage like this. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. The Fae may oh. be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade. Likely a dagger, although there's no oh. way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. It's difficult to say. We've been plagued by the Red Legion for days, but it's not their way to go after the Fae in the area. They like their targets mortal. In case you haven't heard, there have been some Tuatha sighting in the woods to the west, so that's also a possibility. It's unlikely, though. Well, you're the only one. 
With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something a bit... untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but... I am a coward. That's the truth. Perhaps a fae will know how to heal a fae. If not, then we're back where we started. I've seen many bandit clans in the Crystal War and back home. But these men are a particular breed. The Red Legion has been a presence in the area for several weeks now. Our people ask. She spends her days in the precipice overlooking the village. She doesn't think we're aware. Bye now. the brothers of St. Odwigs. Only when they fall to earth will they realize they are not above us. Do the half true Welcome to St. Odwig's perpetual mission. I would invite you in, but the Order has been too trusting in the past. Although, one never knows what might be a test of faith. You have arrived just when I am in need of aid. So perhaps Mitharu is at work. The first bricks were laid 50 years ago by Odwig himself, before his demise at the hands of trolls. We honor him by converting the Fae to the worship of Mitharu. Alas, we have yet to convert a single one. But that does not keep us from trying. We at St. Odwig's have worked for years to establish a presence on this hill. It's not been without its challenges. The call of the Feylands does not fall upon deaf ears, and many of our youngest don't have the will to resist. Take Brother Egan, for example. Two nights ago, Egan ventured past the walls to collect firewood and never returned. We must find him before anything happens. Odorath is a savage land. I fear for Brother Egan's soul. He knows nothing of the world. Mitharu be praised. His brother Egan was last seen northeast of here. Please find him. Perhaps then we can welcome you into the fold with open arm. Egan was last seen in the woods outside the walls, just north of the village. Bless you, child. Brothers of St. Odwigs, only when they fall to earth will they... ...realize they are not above us. Mitharu does not dwell behind the mission's walls, no. She is in every rock, and every tree, every bud, and every stone. She is with all of us. Yes? What could a mortal vagabond need with Kazmaran the Eternal, messenger of the Fey Folk? Speak! 
My time may be of the ages, but it is still precious. It sounds rather silly, doesn't it? I had a feeling it would. I need a mage name for when I become all-powerful, for when my magic is so great that no one will dare dispute me. What about Abner the Visionary, or Malik the Nefarious, Lord Zaltanus? No? And those were the good ones. Wait! Father Dinwell sent you, didn't he? Old fool. His path to power was too plodding, and now he wishes to slow me down too. I have new friends, fey friends. They are named Finna and Arbos, and they have sworn to share their secrets with me and to gift me with true magic. In exchange, they want an ancient treasure buried in the caverns of Waterhall Down. I'll retrieve it, eventually, as soon as I, um, feel like it. <laughs> they are fey twins, and they are beautiful, magical creatures. All they require of me is to fetch for them this relic. It's quite a bargain, believe me. Good riddance. You'd likely cheat me out of the treasure anyway. Farewell. Whatever you do, stay far away from water. Now you're interested. I see what you're after. You're selfish like all the other. Fine, if you want to be so noble, but don't expect any of the treasure. This is my key into a... See you later. say about these stones is true, but if it is, well, this is just too good to not save forever. Lystrom was out of town when Artol was visiting. Now, Lystrom doesn't know Artol, and Artol is older and strange. She could be mistaken for a fate weaver. So, when Lystrom came back to town, here was Artol the Oracular. I said to Lystrom, I hear her readings are amazing. You should go. <laughs> My, you should have seen it. A rooster, she said, will change into a man, and this man will become your lover. He will provide for you, and he will make you laugh, and he will make your life exciting and easier. But, and this is something you can never forget, he must never eat chicken. <laughs> And once in a while, you will need to peck at things on the ground, and every morning, at the break of dawn, you'll hear a loud cry from him. <laughs> <laughs> May your hollow gods keep you, mortal. 
I am called Airy. Your face is new to me. You are different from those in Gorhart. Have you come to ask about the Tuatha? I can offer only what I know, and hope it will suffice. Yes, I witnessed this crime. Although I did not recognize the one who perpetrated it. The victim was Eluvia, but I knew her only by name. You must be hoping that I can offer advice, but I cannot. If she is meant for the Great Cycle, then so be it. However, I would be quite interested to find out whether one of my kind would benefit from one of your mortal remedies. It will need to be powerful. Your delicate forms are far more sensitive than ours. In fact, it's astounding that you survive as long as you do. Perhaps your mortal apothecary can provide one. You can always create the potion to farewell. Welcome to Gorhart. Nelson Shear will never fall. Need some? The post in Gorhart would be an easy one if not for all the thieves and murderers. What is it? Are you here for a weapon? Going to earn a lord's favor in this rid Ridiculous war, are you? So long. Faye in Gorhart. It isn't right. You there. Do you feel nauseous? It no, this situation could not be any worse. If the Red Legion is involved. Then I'm sure I have a vial somewhere in this cottage, but I do not have the time to search for- Why ask questions when you could never understand the answers? If you must know, something of value has been stolen. An alchemical formula that, if released, could cause untold devastation. Only my apprentice, Karth, and I knew of my work on the formula, but he's gone missing as well. I do not deserve such goodwill after what I've engineered. I'm not sure where Karth may have gone. But I knew that before he came to me, he found shelter in the ancient chambers of Agnur Far Hall. And once you've ensured Karth's safety, you must learn what's happened to my formula. When you do, destroy it! Goodbye.
Cafe in Gorhart. It isn't right. Can you believe those marks? What is it? You made it. Just in time, too. Someone must go to the Fae and explain what happened here. One small misunderstanding and we'll no longer just be strangers to the Fae. We'll be enemies. You're turning out to be very helpful, my friend. Rumor says that the House of Ballads has its headquarters not far from here in Glendara to the northeast. Farewell. Hi. 